You know, I love finding little gems in applications that I've been using for years, especially if those gems are features that I can actually utilize, and not just some kind of Easter egg or special feature that I would never use. Well, I found one the other day. You know, when you come into your Outlook and you click on your mailbox up at the top, you get your Outlook Today, and you can customize your Outlook Today to reflect what you want to see there. But most folks ignore this completely. They like to go right to their inbox. But you know, one of the interesting things about Outlook today is that all of this is based upon HTML. If you right click and you go to your data file properties, you can actually see a lot more information about how this is configured, including the home page. So the information that's displayed is actually coming from an Outlook.htm file. Now, the cool thing here is that you can change this. You can make this a page that perhaps you would want to visit as opposed to it being the Outlook Today information that perhaps you don't take a look at on a daily basis. Let me show you what I mean. Here we have the train signal blog. If I just copy the URL up at the top and come back in here and you have to control V in order to paste it. For some reason you can't right click and paste. Once you have that there you click apply and as you can see we now have instead of the outlook today information we have the train signal blog and this is fully functional we can go back to the train signal web page from here and we can navigate through these pages right from within our outlook so one way this might be valuable is if you're working with let's say office 365 and you have your exchange connection but you also have your SharePoint portal. Well, you can actually put the SharePoint portal right in here and be able to access it at all times right from your Outlook. If you're like me, you spend a lot of time in Outlook, so you might want to have more than just one web page that you access through your Outlook settings. So the way you would accomplish that is you might create a new folder. We can call this one Mech. We'll say OK. And then from the folder, you can always change this to actually be a web page. So if we click Home Page, and then let's pull up the Microsoft Exchange Conference that's coming up. We copy that, pop that in there, click Show Home Page by Default for this folder, and apply. And now, I can be working, answering emails, and if I want to see any updates to the MEC conference, simply select the MEC folder, and that website is displayed for me right there. So this is J. Peter Brzezzi, and I hope you enjoyed that little tip with Outlook. Thanks for watching.